I'm Charlie Hardy, founder and director of Canning Creative, and welcome to the week in design. This show is going to be all about things that happened in the last few days in the design community, things that are making big waves, so let's dive right in. First up is the new BMW rebrand. Now, BMW, as you can see here, they've kind of They've got this black circle. They've had this for many years. It's become famous, renowned with the brand. However, they've lost the black shape and they've went to this all transparent kind of white BMW logo. And at first, I absolutely hated the design. I could not get on board with it all. But that happened early last week. I've since kind of looked at it. I've seen some further applications of the brand. And now I'm starting to see it kind of roll through. All that people are saying it looks a little bit lost on that website. I actually think the white really helps to kind of stand out. It's really visible up there. I like how they're feeding the blue through onto that cars. The little transparent badge on the car. It's, it's definitely different and it probably has lost that classic edge losing the black. However, I can't disagree with this. I do like the direction it's taken. I would be very interested to know if this little BMW emblem is all tiny little parts, if it's made up of tiny little bits, or whether it is kind of a transparent, like solid transparent badge that is then stuck onto the cars. Either way, I think it's, it's definitely an evolution for the brand and I think people will come to love it. Next up, Drake has decided that his brand Ovo, Ovio, Octo, I can't remember what it stands for. I don't know how to say it. I'm not that down with the kids. However, this brand that Drake owns, Ovo, we're gonna go with Ovo, um, are suing Bellroy for infringement of the OWL logo, um, which to me, it's, it's a bit of a strange one. They sell very different clothes. They sell, appeal to very different kind of target audiences. I mean, I've got a Bellroy wallet. I buy kind of Bellroy accessories. They're much more backpacks, wallets, like little accessory bits and pieces. This Ovo are very like hip and urban, the coats, jackets. They do sell accessories as well, but I didn't notice any like wallets or anything like that. I mean, for me, can, can you really trademark and say, oh, we're the only brand out there allowed to use an owl? I think that's maybe a bit of a stretch, but, and Bellroy's owl, to be perfectly blunt about it, is better executed than the Ovo one. Like, can you really trademark that singular idea? Who knows? It's gonna be interesting to see how it plays out. And finally, UK comedian Joe Lysett has decided to take on the brand of Hugo Boss. The story goes something like this. Hugo Boss were threatening small businesses. Threatening, I'm using the term loosely, I've done a bit of reading, I'm not sure I agree with it. They were threatening small businesses, a brewery in Wales, with legal action for use of the words, or use of the word Hugo Boss, I'm not exactly sure how, how that kind of court case is all made up, but comedian Joel Lysett has changed his name by deed poll, he's rebranded himself, he is now known as Hugo Boss, the comedian, and he's also applied for a trademark uh, in, I mean, a while back. He's applied for the trademark and had it accepted for a perfume that he's about to call Boss Le Cease and Desist. I mean, it's funny, it's, he's going to get a lot of publicity and he has had a lot of publicity off the back of it. Um, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I like Joe Lysett, I like his comedy, I don't really know what else to say. It's an interesting PR stunt and it'll be interesting to see how the world unfolds. And that's it. That was the week in design and we'll catch you next time.